Hello, my name is M. Tommy of Peace Park Ministry. A wonderful Friday right here in Nigeria. Thank you for being part of today's broadcast. All right. Before you quit, I want you to watch and pay attention to this video. Every one of us have gone through one situation or the other that gave us the conviction to quit. Unusual, uncommon situation cropped up and that was enough for us to quit. But you see, if you quit today, you will never have someone quite like you to do that thing you wanted to do. If you give up on your dream, there will never be anyone quite like you to keep that ball running. Listen, I know you are tempted. I know everything around you tells you you, you can quit. I know everything around you suggests what are you doing? What are you waiting for? You're wasting your time and effort. Why don't you just quit? But I'm here to encourage you. You're not the first person that have gone through this. People have gone through this even before now. The major themes in the Bible, characters in the Bible have gone through this even before now. You see, what we have problem is, you think that if God asks you to do a particular thing, that means there will be no challenge. That means it's going to be soft. That means it's going to be safe. That means it's going to be smooth. No! The reason why God asks you to do it, and the reason why God told you, don't worry, I'm with you, was and is because he knows exactly what is involved he knows exactly what you go through so that once you remember what he told you you'll be strong and courageous the, for the fact that god told you to do it does not mean that it's going to be rosy does not mean that it's going to be juicy does not mean that you're going to have a soft landing no it means that no matter what you're going to go through i am with you look at the case of elijah God went to Elijah and asked him to pray for rain. But during Elijah prayed for almost seven times before the rain could come, Jesus beckoned on Peter to walk on the sea and meet him. Even when he did that, he said, come, I know you're going to fall, but I'll be there to hold you. He started walking and fell, and Jesus held him because he's the one that asked him to come. Oh, are we talking about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? He came here to die for us. Close to the time, he said something. He said, if it is possible, take this cup away from me because what I have perceived already, I feel like quitting. He felt like quitting. Even on the cross, he said, my father, my father, why have you forsaken me? But we all know that God did not forsake him. He was just there to fulfill a purpose. Maybe what you're going through right now is to fulfill a purpose. Maybe what you're going through right now is to make sure you get to a particular level. So don't quit. Don't you ever quit. There's a purpose you must fulfill. There's a level you must attain. And if you quit, there will never be anyone quite like you to do it just like you. And if you quit, that dream will be gone for life. If you quit, you're not just gonna fail yourself. You fail your family, you fail your community, you fail the society, and sometimes you fail God. Because you are here for a purpose. So, before you quit, watch this video over and over again. And have reason to stay up. And keep your head up. Encourage. Be strong. And do what you're still doing. One day, the reward will surely come. Have a happy weekend ahead of you.